Tales of an innovative way to teach history being used at a local high school. It involves dance, and we'll meet the man who is behind this dance troupe. Coming next. You're watching News Channel 8 live this morning. More local, more often. Next guest is a native of Ghana who was brought to Bishop McNamara High School to begin an African music and dance program. This weekend, the Sankofa Dance Ensemble, uh, as founded by Victor Ba, started with just five students. It is Performing King, a celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement. And to do it, the cast this time numbers more than 65. Victor Ba joins us live this morning with more on how this uh, innovative dance troupe is teaching history at the same time. It's good to have you here. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a classic case of using the arts to instruct, but uh, uh, are you surprised at how successful it has been? I, I should say I am, because when it started, like you just uh, mentioned, we had only about five students involved in it, um, and we had to work very hard to um, get the students to be very um, enthusiastic about what we're doing. And so I'm kind of surprised that it's grown to this um, 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 number. But if you've got that many people in the dance troupe, it also is having an effect, I guess, on the rest of the student body. They get what you're trying to do. Yes, they do. And they are very, very motivated and very ent enthusiastic and interested in it. And it brings the whole community also because the parents are involved in, in everything we do. Um, um, and uh, that makes it very, very um, interesting. In the rest of the school, when they see these performances, I imagine for a number of those students, this is something brand new. So there's a, you're teaching whatever the lesson is. Uh, last year, for example, you did Hamlet. This year, you're doing King. So there's there's the history aspect of it, but there's also the cultural aspect of yes. it too. You are sharing a bit of your culture, I suspect. Definitely, I share the culture, uh, the historic, and of, of course also the educational aspect of it um, because a lot of students told me last year for instance when we were doing it that they didn't know much about Hamlet until they do they did um, Hamlet uh, which was our uh, African dance uh, presentation of Hamlet so it teaches them a lot about history and also about the, 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 the things that they will otherwise have a difficulty understanding in a, in a real um, traditional classroom sense so they, they, they get it yeah, like you said before. Do you learn from them as well uh, as, as the teacher and the leader of the troop? Because they, I'm sure the American students bring things uh, to these performances that, that maybe the original performance never contemplated. Definitely. They bring a lot, and I learn a lot from them. They contribute a lot um, to, to, to the whole program, really. And uh, their yeah, contribution is immense. You do this at... at uh, at, uh, I'm looking for it, uh, the uh, Bishop McNamara High School. Yes. Is this the kind of thing, though, that you'd recommend f for other places? Because the lessons that you learn there, I, it seemed to me, apply to a lot of other places oh, as yeah. well. Oh, yes. I do this at Bishop McNamara High School, and I've been doing this there uh, for the last eight years. Um, and uh, I would love to have other high schools actually emulate that because it brings the kids together. Um, they learn a lot about you know, culture and history, and uh, like you said before, so it's definitely something that is worthy of follow for other high schools. And this is in Forestville, Maryland, too, by the way. And, yeah. and it, it looks fabulous. And if you are interested, the performances tell us where. And yes, we're having a performance tonight, um, the performance at Hart Kip Theater at Cat in Catholic University of America. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, also, I guess tomorrow at 7 p.m. as well. Yes. The tickets are 20 bucks. So. Yeah. The tickets are $20, and they're worth it because the kids are wonderful. <laughs> You're getting it from the guy who put on the, the play. Victor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you very it. much. We're going to step away for just a bit at the top of the 10 o'clock hour. Back with more news.